I was going to ask you about special teams, but you talked about that a little yesterday, when, or Saturday, when we were walking by. Um, start with your kicker, uh, place, field, place kicker, Andrew Gantz. How is he? Gantz, we, we ha really haven't uh, haven't had a chance to kick him a whole lot. You know, he's done some some individual stuff, and he actually came back the other day and, and was feeling pretty good, but. Uh, you know, still a little bit of those things stuck in there, a little scar tissue and things. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna progress him slowly through the spring here, and then by June he's got to be able to show us what he can do, because uh, he's got he's got to go test it. You know, but we don't want to we don't want to rush it too much. Um, but we know by June that we got to have an answer. Okay. And what about Josh Paisley? And again, I mean, again, we're still evaluating, but he did a good job today. Okay. You know, I mean, made the shots when <laughs> when it counted, and everybody's around, but. Uh, you know, this next week here in the, uh, in the scrimmage, we'll put some heat on them and try to try to see what they're made of. How important are special teams? I know coaches always talk about that, but they haven't had a really good return game here for a few years and a lot of things, but they haven't really done anything well. Well, I think if you look at them generally, we're always looking for another ways to, to, to win games. And I keep reiterating to these guys that there's, there's two games out there in special teams alone. You know, we were 111th, I think, in the country last year in overall special teams. Mm -hmm. And that, that's probably why we were in the situation that they were in. You know, I'm not saying that's the only reason, but that's a big reason. To me, there's at least two games in there going from 111th to the top 20 in the country. You know, but it's got to be important. And it's not just something you got to use lip service to. You got to you got to play your best players on it. You know, and you got to spend quality time doing it. And, and that's why, to me, I'm, I'm as much involved in it and is going to take over the special teams as, uh, as I am offensively or defensively. Do you see candidates um, maybe dynamic who could be dynamic return guys? Well, we haven't had an opportunity to really give him the chance to return. Obviously, I would I would think that Mike Boom would be would be very good. Um, again, we're just now getting him back in the swing of things, and, and um, you know we've got to wait and see. It's hard to, to live those guys up a whole lot uh, here through the spring, but uh, we'll, we'll give him an opportunity here. I think maybe maybe one day, uh, one of our scrimmages of some sorts to, to kind of turn them loose and see what they see what they're made of. First, they got to be able to catch the ball. Second, they got to be able to secure it. And then we'll see what kind of uh, what kind of ability they have to take it the distance. Okay. Offensively, it looked like you finally started to find a little bit of rhythm today. Was that? Well, that's why you can never get too high and too low. You know, I mean, it's still a process and it's still about building it, what we're doing. And uh, that's what happens. Kind of, you know, someone comes out there a little bit lack. This game is emotional, you know, and it's, it's a game of, 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 you know, of emotion and adrenaline and those kinds of things and momentum. And, you know, Saturday it didn't quite, quite go that way. And uh, you saw that kind of happen. And today, all of a sudden, you get some momentum. You know, you got a little bit different chip on your shoulder. Uh, but it, if you watch the film, even from Saturday, they make two catches in the first, you know, drive or two. It's a completely different scrimmage. You know, and it's just about the feel and the momentum for those guys got. But um, like I said, I think it's a process. I think you saw some quarterbacks step up, make some great throws. I think you saw some guys come down with some balls. What offensively, what has to change from what you saw in their film last year? Obviously, they didn't run the ball well. And well, to be honest, I, I did not study a whole lot of what it is that they did last year. I knew it wasn't being something we were going to do. Um, but in general, as you look statistically at a lot of things, that you know, number one thing we got to be able to do is run the football. You know, it's our, we're a program based on offensive line and defensive line and toughness. And if you can't win the up front and the trenches and, and move some people and have the ability to, to, to run the football, I think you're going to really struggle. Is Boone, uh healthy again, quote unquote? He is, he is. I mean, we're still holding him back a little bit. We're monitoring his reps. I think uh, Saturday was the first time we actually took the jersey off him and let him be tackled. So, you know, he, he's, he's been chomping at the base. One of those guys that you love to have because every day he wants more and more and more. Uh, but we're also being smart that, uh, you know, we want to make sure we can manage him through spring, um, get him into camp and then manage that thing so we can get ourselves in the season and, and uh, basically put him at 100%. We talk about quarterbacks a lot, obviously the most important position. Where, where do you stand there? Do you have a, a depth chart yet with that? Or, or how well, if you saw, I think they're, they're rolling every three plays. So in, in a lot of those situations, we're still allowing those guys to, to roll every three. I would hope, you know, I'd say by by uh, by Saturday, at least we'll have that thing down to maybe, you know, maybe more two two guys rolling and getting the majority of the reps um, and still continue to battle them through the, through the spring. And then we'll see at the end of spring. You know, I mean, obviously, everybody wants to talk about it. It'll be something that we have a we have a plan for, and then when we get the plan in place and we, we name that guy, then uh, we'll be all behind him. What is the importance of taking the practice over to Elder Saturday morning? What was your thought process in that? Well, it's twofold. I mean, yes, it's to get out in the community, make sure we're promoting ourselves in the community, and make, making the community know that that's a big part of who we are and what we want to do, recruiting wise. Uh, but also that we, we got three games in a row after the first game that we're on the road. So we want to put our guys in a bus and, and have them change their scenery a little bit and and uh, see how they you know how they travel how they handle themselves 
Uh, so it, it's it's not just one, two. It's it's kind of threefold for the entire program. So, um, you know, I, I guess it fits a lot of those bills, not just recruiting wise, not just making them travel wise, but also getting on the community.